In this session, I'm going to demonstrate briefly how to create filtering rules in Microsoft Outlook for your messages. So for example, we have all these messages from a variety of sources here, and I want to move those messages when they come in to a specific folder automatically or create some kind of rule to control and where they end up. So to create a rule, you go here under Rules, and I'm on the Home tab at this point. Go under Rules, and then you can create a rule. You can create the rules automatically. For example, I have this message here from Lowe's. If I go under Rules, I could just choose Always Move Messages from Lowe's Home Improvement, and then it'll guide me as to what else to do with it. So always any messages from here to move them to, let's say, Junk Mail choose the folder that I want them to go to, Prisma Junk Mail, and then click OK. At this point, it's going to do that for any future messages that come in, as well as apply it to the messages that are in your inbox. So if I scroll down here in my inbox, I should not have any more messages from Lowe's. If I go here under Junk Mail, this is where the message it would be it should be at this point. So there are 193 messages from Lowe's. The other way that you can create rules is by going here under the rules area and then create a new rule step by step. So you could say, I want anything from a specific reply or email, or the subject contains specific words in it, and then I want this to be even sent to, so you could have it sent to somebody else. You could uh, send it to yourself or forward it to somebody else. And also you could have display an alert or play a sound or do something additional. Now, we, we could also, again, move this to a specific folder. Let's assume these are the business ones or work-related, so you can go to any of these. Click OK. And then you can also go under Advanced Options and pick additional options from here. So if it has of high importance or if it has it sent only to me or any of these actions, notice it adds it to the bottom of this list. So it's doing multiple criteria to apply this rule. So you can get as granular as you want with this. Then click on Next. Then you can choose what to do with the message. You can print it, mark it, flag it, do any of these functions, and of course you'd want to use this cautiously. Then you click on Next and you can add exceptions here and pick those cautiously as well. And then you can run this rule already for the inbox messages and you can turn this rule on or off. Then press Finish and now the system should have applied this rule for any messages in the inbox. If you go here under Rules, you can also manage the existing rules that you have created and customize, enable, and disable those rules as well. So the idea here is to create rules to manage your email flow and weed out the junk mail, but at the same time also to troubleshoot if something is not coming in, your messages are not being delivered, then you might want to take a look at the rules and deactivate them temporarily to sort out what the problem is for you not receiving the emails. Test it out and that's how this option would work.